Hey there, Camera Obscura here, continuing Final Fantasy VI. We tried to communicate with the Espers and recruit them in our fight against the Empire. However, they absolutely lost their shit and attacked us as well. It looks like we've crashed outside of Miranda. So we're gonna head over there really quick and just see what's going on. Are, are the letters from Mobley's getting delivered? That's kind of the big question I have. So we'll just stop in real quick, see what's going on, and then make our way over to Vector. You'll notice Setzer's no longer with us. He's gotta tend to his airship. He can't be taken along. He's gotta fix that thing so we can take back the skies. So Cyan's gonna join us. It's been a while since he's been on the team. And I mean, obviously, he has a thing or two to say to the Empire. So I think it's fitting that he's coming along. So let's see. Let's check in with our lady friend here. I mean, the pigeon's on the roof. The pigeon's on the roof. Still no letters? Is the, is the carrier pigeon withholding these letters? This is mail fraud, sir. What the hell? What am I paying you for? Whatever. All right, and as per usual, I'm not going to avoid the random battles, but I'm not going to show them either, so we'll just see you in Vector. All right, we made it to Vector. Let's see, holy shit. Wow, the Espers really did a number on this place. The inn is deserted. I mean, it's on fire, so <laughs> I would assume the shopkeeper would evacuate. Oh yeah, we got this. This is the lady that heals you. Is she still home? Lady, your house is on fire, get out. What are you still doing here? And the weapon shop, they're still open. They don't have anything new, but at least they're still open. Why is the innkeeper such a weenie? And closes up. Well, he didn't close. He's basically just like, hey, sleep here if you want. You know, it's on the house. And there's the Narshi Narsh guards. What's going on? What on earth? Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hey, Bannon, what's up, buddy? What are you talking about? Talking about the Esper? Bannon, that was the whole plan. Did you forget? Did, did, did the Esper attack on Vector give you amnesia? It was like this when we got here. Arvis. <laughs> it wasn't broken when I got out of it. It's just like the best excuse ever. The Emperor is expecting you. See, you'd never be able to get up here the first time through, or at least not in the building. There's like a undefeatable robot that you fight. I think it's called the Guardian or something. Like, you, you can't even damage it, and then it just wipes you out pretty much immediately. Kind of cool, actually. I gave up trying to get to it, though, because I kept getting encounters with the regular troops. So we didn't get to see it, but that's okay. Sid! Sid! Sid, do you know where Celeste is? I guess not. Yeah, so the Espers found out that, you know... The Empire was messing with their buddies and just, like, totally lost it and unleashed hell. I mean, literal hell on the city. It's it's burning down, man. And Emperor Gestal has lost his will to fight. He lost it. Oh, great. You know, first we want the Espers at war, and now we don't want the Espers at war. You know, we're giving them mixed signals here. Terra... Terra didn't do the best of jobs in communicating our intentions with them in the first place. Because they attacked us as well. Just their directionless fury. Oh, that's right, it's this bit. We have to run around and talk to, like, every soldier. I mean, not every soldier, there's 24 of them, I think. And you definitely want your sprint shoes on for this. Because you just gotta run around and talk to people. Some of them want to fight you, and that's fine. But don't be, like, summoning your espers and stuff. Like, you gotta go fast, man. So let's see. We lost our will to fight. Yep, he lost two. And don't forget these three out here. These are probably the easiest ones to miss. So there's 24 in all. Oh, see, this one wants to fight us. This one wants to fight. So don't be summoning espers. Just go with quick attacks here. Nothing that's got extended animations. I mean, you want to use strong stuff, but the sooner you get these battles over with, the better. I mean, just imagine, like, Final Fantasy VII, when you when you summon... I don't think they're called espers in that game, but when you summon things, you get, like, a three-minute cutscene. You know, you'd get to summon the thing, and the timer would run out before the battle was even over. 
So there we go. With that done, you ain't pretty much just explore. We'll go left first. We got some treasure. Oh, back guard and an X potion. The back guard's really nice. Because that prevents back attacks. In battle. Oh shit. Yeah, this this is the room here. There's six guys in here or something like that. And it's kind of like the Kuko search in Ocarina of Time because it's easy to forget which ones you've talked to because they're all running around. And now that we're in a battle, oh thank goodness that went quick. 63 experience points, that's it. So let's see, nine. Like which one of these guys? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Cool, talk to the guy in bed. And then we got this guy over here yet, and there's still another room. Is there another guy in here? This one might want to fight us. Wait, he's pooping. We just walked in on this guy taking a dump, and now we have to fight him. I mean, I'd probably want to fight too. But, I mean, so be it. It's nice that he's willing to battle, you know, instead of just yelling at us. I don't know. But whatever. Hopefully that shook the last remnants of Dookie out of him. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Ten people left. Let's just get on with it. This works well because you kind of just wrap around the whole building. Because we'll get outside up near the top. Vampire will never die. Never say die. The more people you talk to, the more points you get. And that's important later on because you can get some pretty sweet rewards if you talk to everybody. But I mean, really not. There's one reward in particular that's really, really important, and that's one of the easier ones to get. And then after that, the other ones aren't super great, but it's still nice if you can get them. So let's see. There's not many people left to talk to, so let's just hope this goes quick. Chainsaw is good enough. It does the job. I mean, at least we got some battles here going on, because this isn't going to be a very action-packed episode, if I'm honest. I already talked to him. Don't be talking to the same people. Your whole family was lost in the war? Shit. I mean, I guess. This Espers were pissed, man. Oh, I'm running out of time. I gotta find them all. I hope there aren't any that I missed. Wait, no, I think the last of them might be in here. Espers, who would have dreamed they were that powerful? Wait, is that... Is that all of them, really? Nope, 23, and I think there's one more in here. Thank goodness we got some of these items as well. 24, I think that's all of them. And a Revivify. Can I poop? I did! I totally... Oh my god, what? That's the loudest flush of all time. That's like a toilet on an airplane. Or something. I just pooped right in front of that guy. And also, if you come in here, you see Kefka, don't talk to him. I mean, I can now, because I've already talked to everybody. But even when he's in jail, he trolls you. And he just blathers on and on and on, and wastes all your time. Once you're on odd time, it just instantly goes to this, though. So, now we get asked a bunch of questions. And depending how you answer, you get more points. And again, the more points you get, the better. Should have brought Sabin. He's always a hungry guy. Wait, Sid, you're gonna be a returner? He's joined the cause. What? That's interesting. That's an interesting development. Yeah, so all this dialogue, depending on what option you choose, that determines how many points you get. You know, and again, the better points get you better rewards. I think you can get up to 99 or something. I don't even know. Like, every guard you talk to gets a point. And, again, just the way that you answer these give you certain numbers of points, or subtract points. Fortunately, I know what all the answers are. I think, anyways. So now we gotta ask him questions. I just like to go from top to bottom because it's easier to remember that way. Which ones you asked. Oh, he wants to talk about the espers, huh? So you wanna ask all three questions. But don't ask the same question twice. 
which is why it's easier just to go from top to bottom. So let's see. They refuse to embrace peace. Those jerks. What the hell, man? All right, so we've already asked the three questions. So let's move on. They're acting sp they're acting spiteful. You imprisoned and murdered their friends. What do you mean they're acting spiteful? What the hell? Like what the heck, man? Good grief. Yeah, so about the like he wants to know which question you asked first, which is why I always just go from the top to bottom. So Now this is neat. This is a neat little development. We're gonna take a break. Except no, we're not gonna take a break. Because we wanna battle these guys. Like, clear the table. We got a fight on our hands. And it's kinda neat because it plays the same music we've been hearing. And this isn't a this isn't a particularly difficult battle here. You know. You'll notice a timer though. You only get just under two minutes to do this, but that should be more than enough. Especially using things like Dispatch and Chainsaw. You know, if you have other guys in your party, just use your strongest attacks, of course. I mean, why wouldn't you? Like, you're gonna go into a battle and just... limp dick it, you know? <laughs> like... I mean, seriously. Why wouldn't you use your strongest attacks? So, let's... Let's get on with the feast. We want we want the war o to be over, you know. He's ordered the war over, and in exchange, we'll see what favor he wants. The Espers went north to Crescent Island. Is Crescent Island really north of Vector? I thought it was more east, but shows how much I know. My geography of the Final Fantasy VI world. Maybe isn't the best. No, I guess it is north, because Crescent Island would be kind of by the Velt, which is definitely north of here. All right, I'm a moron. Never mind. Never mind. So we have to go to Albrook. Yeah, let's go to Albrook. Yep. General Leo! Hello! General Leo's so awesome, man. We get to go to Albrook with General Leo. This is the best. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and with Cyan in our party, we get this little extra line of dialogue. Because obviously General Leo, he was there, but he wasn't there when Domo was poisoned. You know, and that's part of why I wanted to bring Cyan along with us, so he can see, you know, that the deaths of his family and his people, you know, they're, they're being avenged. So... Yeah, of course, yeah. If Terra goes, I go. You know, Locke isn't leaving any of these ladies alone. Wait, and the rest of us stay here? Oh, alright. So, they're gonna get to the bottom of this. Yeah, things may be a little fishy. I don't know, but for now, it's just it's gonna be just Locke and Terra. Some one-on-one -on -one time there. Oh, he doesn't have sprint shoes. Oh my god, look, look how much slower it is. Oh. And I'm not changing his setup. And Terra's got the two earrings. I don't want to change that either. Alright, so this these are our rewards. So South Figaro has been liberated. As well as Doma. Which, shoot! I can probably go back to Doma now. And get those treasures that I missed. Like, way back. Way, way back. And we get a Tin Tin Bar. And the Charm Bangle. So we got the maximum rewards. And the Charm Bangle is kind of nice, because it reduces the encounter rate. Yeah, I know, I know what Albrook is, you goof. What the hell, man? You don't need to tell me, Edgar. We've been there. Or I don't know if Locke was ever in Albrook. I can't remember. I don't think he was. His storyline never took him to Albrook. Or did it? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't remember. Which is kind of sad. I mean, it's been a couple days now since I've been able to play this. So, it's not like before where I was playing it. 
I mean, all the previous episodes were done maybe over the course of not even a week. And... Now I'm, get out of my way, dude! What the hell? This is an insufferably slow walking speed. However, one of the rewards that I kind of glossed over is the house by the Imperial Base. Oh, get out of my way! The house by the Imperial Base that had all the treasure chests, that is now open to us. So we gotta get over there. That's just to the east here. Shoot! We gotta go around the mountains though. So let's get over there. You remember where it is, right? We'll just see you there. All right, we've made it. We've made it to the Imperial base. Oh my God, not having sprint shoes. You forget. Like you just forget how slow it really is. You know, at the beginning of the game, you don't really notice it's not that big of a deal. But once you've had the sprint shoes, like you just realize how awful it is to not have them. So yeah, now we can just open all these treasures. 8,000 gold, holy crap. A wall ring, that's nice. Nothing in the bucket. 13,000 gold? Holy shit, man. Running shoes. There's a hidden treasure chest here that's got an elixir in it. I already checked the stove. 20,000? Hot damn. Another back guard. I don't know if you really need two of those. And a cure ring. So the cure ring, I do remember almost buying the cure ring at the auction house. And then realizing I probably wouldn't have money for the Esper I wanted then. But it all works out, because now we have it. So, way to go. And that's it. That's all we need to do there. So, Albrook, of course. As I was saying, Albrook, of course, is just a little bit southwest of here. So, once we get into town, we'll call it a day. And Crescent Island. Crescent Island is going to be our next destination. What, what could await us there? I don't know, but you'll have to find out next time. And I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.